So we want to look at how we can add images to a note or to a list. So going back to the area where we would start a new note or list, we have additional icons. We use the new list feature here. But if you go to the last one, which is the image, I can select new note with image and it will let me select an image that I have on my computer. I'm going to pick this one. And as it brings it in, this happens to be a flyer for some trainings we did a couple school years ago. And you'll notice that underneath, I have the ability to make a list and make a note and add information. So I pulled in the image and then I can add whatever it is I want down here. So let's say that this is prep. Maybe I am completing all of these trainings and so I need to make sure that I get my information together, I write my presentation, whatever it is. So I can use the three more option to show check boxes and then I can give myself a task list. And that way I can see with the flyer above it, what's the name of the session, when's the date, and then my to-do list is right there ready for me to use. So here's my to-do list with the actual image um, that I believe was made in Canva. And if this is something that I need to be able to pop to the top because it's something that's pressing on my to-do list, then I can pin that and make it available at the top. Another feature that's really great that this the Keep does very well um, is if I go back to that new note, I can pick an image that has a lot of text in it. So this happens to be um, a post by John Gordon that I had seen on Facebook and that I thought was useful. And this is great. Like I can throw it into a presentation as an image, but it would be kind of nice if I had it in a editable version so that maybe I can zhuzh up the text if I want to. Well, once I've brought in this image, if I go down to the more option, I'm going to see an option if I've pulled in an image that says grab image text. And so once I do that, it takes a, a little bit to grab it, but underneath the image, you're gonna see the text that has been brought in. Now, it's not that important that we know that it was posted one hour ago. We clearly we want John Gordon because he's the author. I don't really need to see how many likes and how many comments and all of that so I could delete that out. But what I've done is pull the content here into an editable, editable text. And if I needed to do this into a document, then all I do is go to the three more, copy to Google Docs, and then I will have a document that has the image and the text. If all I want is the text, I can delete out that image and now I just have that text that I can highlight, change, do whatever I need to do. Now, one of the cool things about the app is that you can, in the app, take a picture and then use that grab text from your image feature. So think about if you're taking a picture of an article or you're taking a picture of a recipe, you can easily change it into something that's editable. So thinking about a recipe, if you're teaching culinary arts, have your students snag a picture of the recipe from a magazine or a cookbook, and then they can easily convert that into editable text so they can change the ingredient list, they can change the amounts, um, the serving sizes, all of those things. So using images in Google Keep is really helpful for organizing, but that pulling text out of an image is really great. And with the app, you can take pictures in the app that give you that same feature.